I'm Lindsay Klein. Welcome to the WDHA Homegrown Spotlight. I am with Jared from Farewell Luna. We can call you a, a solo artist. Yeah, this is my solo project. Yeah. So you can call me that. that, that's <laughs> Farewell awesome. Luna. Um, how long? Well, first of all, how long have you been singing? Because your voice is insane. Thank you so much. Um, I've been singing a for way. a long time. Not um, crazy. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I've been singing ever since I can remember. I never took any vocal training still to date, um, which I'd love to. Wow. Um, but yeah, it was just kind of something I always knew I had a knack for and, you know, playing guitar. It's so like choir thing. and stuff back in the day? No, I mean, no? <laughs> when, when you had to sing choir, I was singing okay. choir, you know, like when it was required. Third grade. But I never went out of my way to, uh, to sing choir. So it when did you start like, an, like you know, making music or getting out and showing people your music i actually didn't start writing music believe it or not till after college okay um i started playing guitar. You. Yeah. well you know what i just i always loved music i always had a strong passion and um it was always something that i wanted to do especially i started playing guitar maybe when i was 16 and i taught myself how to play by year and then when i got out of college i met some really great musicians and i was like you know what i sat down and i'm like i want to try writing my first song mm -hmm. and I did, and it turned out to be pretty solid for my first song, and I was like, well, maybe I have some potential here, so I kind of <laughs> just ran with it. Right on. So how long has Farewell Luna, your project, been around? Farewell Luna is new. I mean, I've been writing for about a year to a year and a half for the project, but Farewell Luna itself, I mean, my debut EP only came out you know, about a little over a month ago. So And it's, it's amazing. Thank you. And it's, <laughs> you know, so it's, it really is fairly new. Okay. To, uh, well, to how would you describe your music? Like, obviously DHA is rock, but the bands that I bring in, Homegrown Spotlight, are very broad. Right. And you have very unique sound for this blog, I think, which is why I'm so excited that you're on it. Plus, your soloist, Lacey's the film <laughs> person, nodding her head. <laughs> yes, your new sounds of this blog. Um, have you been described as anything mainstream or? Yeah, I mean, I've gotten a few comparisons to more mainstream artists. Like uh, vocally, I've heard Adam Levine. Mm -hmm. I saw some kid commented saying my voice sounded like Gavin DeGraw. Um, two artists that I really don't listen to much. <laughs> I mean, I appreciate their music. Um, I would say if I had to specify it in a genre sense, I would say it's just really soulful alternative music. Yeah, you with you pour it, your heart out. Especially with the with the EP, it's got a lot of electronic undertones, so mm -hmm. kind of going in that direction a little bit, almost a little bit of the uh, Alex Clare sense. Um, Graffiti Six, I've also gotten um, some comparisons to, and both of those artists I love. So. Right. That's always awesome. cool to hear. So, um, how did you make this? Did you have somebody <laughs> produce it? Did you do it all yourself? Yeah, well, you know, for a while I wanted to put together an EP to showcase what I'd been writing for uh, the past year to year and a half. And I uh, started just kind of going through the Rolodex and figuring out who I could find out or who I could find to produce it. And, you know, through a friend, I ended up connecting with a kid who was also from my town. And we produced it and mixed it. and recorded it in about four days out of this kid's room in his house and it was all through garage band mm -hmm. um if you saw our setup you'd laugh mm -hmm. <laughs> it was d very raw Foo fighters just did yeah. it yeah oh it's i cool. love dave Grohl. Yeah, absolutely <laughs> and it was just very it was a cool atmosphere because it was nothing of what i was expecting and to hear the finished product and you know it come out the way it did it was it was really cool to hear did so. you play all the instruments or did i, I tracked too? guitars and okay. vocals and um he played a, a little bit of keys all the drums i pretty much sat there and beatboxed and he <laughs> created them and so all the drums are sampled on the ep so none of those are live drums okay um the bass i wrote all the bass parts and had my old bass player from my old band justin rudolph came in and played bass on the record so, so you have awesome. been a part of bigger bands and now this is is yeah. this a direction you want to stay in by yourself? Yeah, I mean, I want this to turn into something where I can include other musicians, especially from a live um, sense, but right. it is my solo project. I want to keep it as that, and I want to definitely get inspiration from other artists, but um, yeah, I'm looking to you know form a band and, and, and start touring, for sure. Cool. Yeah. You can do both. Exactly, and that's you what I, you know, I'm kind of tapping into different markets and seeing where I can you know, get my name out there as much as possible. I'm, I'm, you know, getting into the house market a little bit, doing some vocals on some house progressive tracks, and that's really cool. Wow. So any, any way I can kind of just, <laughs> <laughs> anyway. So I always ask fans, um, before we promote all your social media, sure. for artists just starting off in this scene, original scene, which you're very much part of, Yeah. piece of advice for them, anything that comes to your head? I'd say the biggest thing is just don't get in, you know, don't get discouraged. 
mm-hmm. and just keep going. If you have a dream and you have a passion, follow it because you know nothing really matters besides that. And if you got a goal, go for it. You know, just go for it. Just, I know that sounds really cliche. No, it cheesy, doesn't. But it's, it's cool. Yeah, and, and it's everybody's the truth. got an opinion. Uh, there's the yeah. There's and there's you know a lot of leaps and boundaries you're gonna come across, but you know. It's not about the finish line. It's about the road getting there. And that's what yeah, I'm man. trying to grasp more than anything is just to enjoy. Yes. Live in the this, present. Yeah. I'm trying to enjoy everything that's going on now. That's cool. Fun. We're having a good time right now. Yeah, we're having blast. Yeah, and you should watch the video below us right now. <laughs> yeah. Acoustic. Jared, uh, tell them where they can find your music yeah. and um, anything. Farewell, Luna. Jared. Sure. Um, well, the best way would be to connect on Facebook. So if you like my Facebook page, it's facebook.com slash farewell Luna with no spaces. And all the social media sites are pretty much the same format. Uh, if you'd like to purchase the EP, you can purchase on iTunes or any other digital distributor. If you'd like, you can pay any price on my Bandcamp page, which is farewellluna.bandcamp.com. And all the donations are going to go towards future recordings. So... If you, you would like to hear more. If you want it for free, mm-hmm. be my guest. If you want to give a donation, it's highly appreciated. So. Awesome. You rock. Thank you Check so them much. out. Thank you, guys. Thank yes. you. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you.